So today we're taking the GOAT team. And I don't mean the GOAT team. I mean Michael Jordan's team, the Charlotte Hornets. And we're going to take, honestly, this train wreck of a team. No offense. But contract wise, I don't know, man. I don't know. But we got <laughs> Teddy Roger, the newly acquired Scary Terry, Malik Monk, Michael K. Gilchrist, Willie Hernan Gomez, uh, Cody Zeller, Mike uh, Mikhail Bridges. Yo, no, 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 Miles Bridges off the bench. Uh, Bismarck Biombo and you know the bench. But I did make some changes right off the bat. I switched over Michael K. Gilchrist from power forward over to a small forward. I just felt like that was his position. I don't know why they had him a power forward. Uh, Hornets fans, if you're out there, I need your help. Was he always a power forward or was he a small forward? I feel like he was a small forward, but I could be wrong. Because I, I haven't seen a Charlotte Hornets game. I don't think ever. I, I, I'm, be, I'm being completely honest. I don't think I've ever seen a Charlotte Hornets game. So I don't know if he's a small forward or power forward, but I got him in the small forward position. He went up like three overalls anyways. He went from like a 78 to up to an 81. So up to, we're off to a good start, I guess. Uh, Teddy Rogier, man. I like him. Scary Terry. You know what I'm saying? He tore it up. But his contract is huge, bro. He His contract is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, not saying he's a bad player. Just saying like he's not worth the contract. So if I can get anything for him, maybe like a trade finder. If I can get anything for him, maybe like a pick or anything like that, that would be perfect for Teddy Rozier. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what we can get. Let's, let's spectate the market. So we're going to send Scary Terry to the Philadelphia 76ers for a draft pick that ain't going to be ours until bug crack, you know, a long time from now. But hopefully we can flip the first round pick, make him, uh, make a, a, what do you call it, a trade uh, or something like that. It's going to come in handy, hopefully, because if not, I just messed up and I traded away one of our uh, rising stars. But we can't go back now. We're, we're uh, you know, Michael K. Gilchrist, I don't know where we can get for you but let's hopefully we get something out of you you know what i'm saying uh if not it's fine you're 81 overall shaquille o'neal just kidding uh larry nance jr another first draft first round draft pick uh they're the clippers they they're not their pick is gonna be like freaking like the um, number 31 pick overall so something like that though like it can be ridiculous so we're sending Michael K. Gilchrist to the Indiana Pacers uh, for a first round draft pick this year and Edmer Summer. Now, like I said, we're basically, our plan is to suck a lot. And oh, wait, do we have our draft pick? Because if I'm doing all of this, we don't have our draft pick. Okay, we have our draft pick. So hopefully we're trash, like absolutely garbage. We get a badass draft pick, maybe we can trade it or uh, get like RJ Hampton, LaMelo, uh, Wiseman, something like that in the on the uh, draft. But if not, we can always trade them, hopefully. Uh, who's next? Who's next in the chopping block? P Dude, if I can get anything for you, it'll be perfect. If I can get anything, a, a bag of Cheetos for you, my boy, I will be happy. Like, honestly. You know what? <laughs> Cristiano Felicio, your contract's bomb too, but you're better in our contract and we get a first round pick. I already lottery protected, but hopefully we get that pick. Uh, go ahead and accept that really quickly. So now we got rid of one back contract. If we can't get rid of Biombo, uh, that's fine. Just because he only has one more year left in his contract. Uh, so I really don't care if we get rid of him or not. But if we do, that would be perfect. So pretty much uh, plan suck is in full effect. We're gonna go ahead and run with Shelvin Mack, right? Yeah, Shelvin Mack, Malik Monk, Bridges, Hernan Gomez, and Cody Zeller running the ones. Uh, <laughs> oh God, man. I gave pretty much uh, Bridges, Miles, 40 minutes basically, just so he can develop, hopefully, to a decent player by the end of the season. Hernan Gomez gave him 30 minutes. We got Malik Monk at 33. Hopefully he goes up as well. Uh, but Biombo, six man, he just, we're, we're gonna ride him out, pause. We're gonna ride out the season with him just to, just to let him go, man. Uh, we hear my boy, uh, Mar, not Willie, we're on PJ Washington. I feel like he's a rookie. I could be completely wrong. Uh, yeah, so if he can develop, that's fine. You know, I'll be perfect. Uh, give him more minutes, actually. 22 minutes it is. 
and there's Malone up here. Fine. Uh, this is our this is our play team. We have a few picks. We have we have a few picks we can use to trade. We also have our pick. So hopefully, if we're so trash, we get a high ass pick, which is the plan. Uh, but yeah. If, I, if anything goes down, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. But if not, it's pretty much going to be the end of our moves for the first season. And I'll catch you guys in the end of the first season. So quick move over. We're going to trade the Pacers 2019 pick and the Bulls 2020 first round pick for the Washington Wizards. A 19, 2019 pick and their 2020 uh, first round pick top 10 protected. Just because the Washington Wizards are always like... Their cheeks, bro. Their cheeks in like this year, especially first year rebuilding their cheeks. So we can have if we can have two extremely high picks, we're good. We're looking good, bro. Uh, but I am gonna try to see what we can get for this one. This one and drop in this one and I'll let, and let's see what we can get. Let's just see the uh, potential of these picks. Uh we got Jay Clarkson. 2021st, 21st Clippers pick. We do not want that. We do not want this at all. A uh, Jazz, New York Knicks, top 10 protected. They're getting a 10 uh, top 10 protected pick. Like, let's just be honest here. They're getting, and we're getting Detroit. If Detroit, if Detroit can be as cheeks this year, man. Hold up. Serge Ibaka, Jeremy Lin. Now, Serge is tempting. Dario Sarge is tempting as well. Uh, okay. Steven Adam. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and trade all of this for their first, uh, for the 2019 first round pick, Luke Kennard. We will gladly take that. Now we have a total of three 2019 picks. Three, bro, three. So let's try to hit up the market one more time using these two unprotected picks by both the Pistons and Wizards. Let's just see, let's just test the market one more time before we start the season. And let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can get anything like worthwhile. So at the end of season number one, we got John Antetokounmpo winning the MVP of the season. John Moran literally as always winning rookie of the year. Six man got Serge Ibaka. Defensive player, we got John Antetokounmpo. Most improved, Buddy Hill and Doc Rivers as coach of the year. Now, really quick, I want to show you guys something. We went to 19 and 63. Like, we're on our Charlotte Bobcats, like type B. Like we're, oh my goodness. So apparently the trail, uh, the mark to go into the playoffs for the Eastern Conference is 40 wins. So we can just get 20 more wins next season. We're pretty much in the playoffs. We can do that. We can do that. But for now, we're nowhere near the playoffs. Let me go ahead and simulate through the playoffs <laughs> to see who wins the chip this year. But man, 19 and 63. We're literally in our Charlotte Bobcat type beat. Uh, I don't have like the worst. I have the record for like, they have the record for the worst record ever, right? Am I right? Uh, so I don't know if we beat it. I doubt we beat it. I know the Suns always be having like 15 wins, you know? So, but yeah, we, <laughs> the the plan worked. Our plan to like suck, it worked. Like, it, it worked. But we have a Nets Rockets NBA Finals. And we have the Nets winning it. No, 3-3 three, three, game 7. And the Rockets. James Harding averaging 27 points a game. Damn, okay. I see y'all, Rockets. I see you guys. But like I said, our plan worked. Let's go ahead and go to the draft lottery. We were butt cheeks. I didn't see it, how the Detroit Pistons. We have the best chances. Look at that, bro. Oh my goodness. That's lit. We have the best. We have the best chances to land not only the first pick we have the chances to hit the second pick and we traded away our indiana pick and they had the third best odds but we did trade it to the wizard so it makes kind of sense uh but i don't know detroit did pretty good because they're not even the lottery they're not even the lottery so but at least we got we got snubbed we got the fourth and fifth pick we got messed up. Oh my goodness, we got messed up. Where's Detroit at least? Where's Detroit? Uh, Detroit, Detroit, I can't see it. I can't see it. Oh, 24th pick. Oh, we got so screwed over. Okay, let's exit this. Let's see what we can do. I will definitely, be, definitely want to make trades to go move up in the draft. At least first pick, second pick. Either, either those are fine, but yeah. 
I'll catch you guys in the draft. So we could not trade our fourth and fifth pick for anything decent at all. The good thing is that we basically need every position. So we're going to go ahead and take RJ Hampton with the fourth, fifth overall pick, right? And then we're going to take for our next pick, which if this would hurry up and we can get to our next pick, and we're going to go ahead and take LaMelo Ball point guard. And then uh, like I always do it, I go ahead and take... Um, Go ahead and take RJ Hampton and move into the small four position. So there we go. We got a pretty decent team now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We got these two guys, our two draft picks are pretty much gonna be 80 overalls by the end of the season. So we got them two hoes and uh, we did not. Actually, you know what? We precious, I like you. We're, go we're getting that. Team options, we are, are not getting, okay, uh, decline. It was a team. It was a player option and he accepted. I was not aware. I was not aware. But Hernan Gomez, we are going to keep you uh, just for now. Oh my goodness, man. Let's see what we can get um, in free agency, man. Because, oh my God. We need to get rid of Biombo ASAP. Well, actually, let's uh, see who we got in free agency. There is literally never anybody in free agency. Uh, pronounced right for all of these. I don't want, I want Dwayne Bacon, but, but early, everyone else, y'all can jet. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can leave. Uh, but first day of free agency, we got Dwight Hour, we got Michael K. Gilchrist. What do you want? No, you crazy. You keep crazy. Oh, uh, for real. Um, y'all can see, we don't, there is nothing, literally. We don't need half cap space. What am I doing? Yeah, so let's, let's just skip to training camps. I'll catch you guys in the end, end of start of the second season where hopefully we trade away Biombo's dumbass contract and and uh, we trade for a good player. I don't know. We have a few picks left. Uh, we have, I think, 2020 pick. No, actually, no. I don't know what we have left, but expect us to make moves. Expect the Jordan Hornets to make moves. Big moves. I told you, man, we're going to make moves this season. I told you guys, we're getting rid of Cody Zeller, Christian Felicio, John Bolden, and we're going to bring in the man, Steven Adams, 26-year-old, 85 overall, to be our center, our center, and Patrick Patterson, just like a, an extra player. Let's go ahead and do that. And let me go ahead and show you guys what the roster is looking like, just with that trade done and over with. All right, all right, all right. So, I know I said I didn't want to trade Miles Bridges, but Shea Alexander Gildas, uh, I don't know how, to, how you say his name. We're go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I know we have RJ Hampton on Lamelo, but I did switch Lamelo into the two guard, and now what I'm gonna do is switch. Go ahead and uh, get Hampton and make him a small forward, and now. <laughs> Our starting lineup is looking a little bit different. And by a little bit, I mean we are looking like a young, a young <laughs> up and coming God Squad for real. Uh, we got Shay Gill Gillis Alexander. How you say? It? I feel like I'm butchering his name, bro. Honestly, uh, we got the three young guns, and then we got Bismack. Be humble, bro. I don't want you as the six man. Let's do that and uh, let's do this. And who else do we have? We have, oh yeah, we have SUR. Let's go ahead and place him here. Let's see if I can get him some minutes. He got seven minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah, pretty much our new starting lineup. We got Shea, we got LaMelo, we got RJ, we got Hernan Gomez, we got Steven Adams. We're looking good. 80 overall, 81 overall. RJ's gonna be averaging 28 points a game, I guarantee you. At an 80 overall. Hernan Gomez probably gonna be an 80 overall and Steven Adams locking down the paint. Pretty much that's all we're gonna do for this season. We should make the playoffs. At least we're gonna do better. I hope we do better than 20 wins. Because if not, I'll literally, I will literally cry, dude. But I'll catch you guys at the end of the, of the second season. Let's see how we did. Let's see how this new and improved team with pretty much everybody's under 20 uh, team. Let's go ahead and how we did, man. Let's go ahead how we did. So at the end of the second season, we got Chris Paul winning the MVP. RJ Hampton, Rookie, Rookie of the Year, repping our colors. Six on guys, Barry Parker, Defensive Player. We got Giannis, Chris Middleton, Most Improved, Brett Brown as the Coach of the Year uh, for the Sixers. Uh, we don't got any of our men here. But as you guys can see, we missed the playoffs again. Now, 
We were doing so good, but at one point we had like a 10 game losing streak. And then another point we get like a 7 game losing streak. And then an 8 game losing streak. Dude, I don't know what was going on. I do not know what was going on. But we were doing super good, trust me. We were doing so good, but we just slipped off, bro. Let's go ahead and check these stats real quickly. Our player stats. Leading the way is uh, RJ, Hunt, RJ Hampton with 21 points a game. Uh, Lamelo 18, Steven Adams 15 and 12, Malik Monk off the bench averaging fifth, almost oh, 14 and uh, three. Shea Gilligas, Alexander, uh, just eh, eh, we have a solid team, bro. We have a solid team, but we couldn't do it. We couldn't make the playoffs for a second consecutive season. We're gonna send through these playoffs. I'm actually pretty salty because we have a we have a good team, bro. We have a better team than. Like Chicago, I'm pretty sure. Then Detroit, uh, like then Cleveland. Like, come on, bro. Uh, so, pretty much, I don't know. I don't know, dude. We we need to do something in the off season, or if not, we need to trade for something. Uh, maybe Pascal, uh, Siakam. Only reason I'm saying that is because I'm seeing the Raptors over there. But uh, looks we're gonna have the Nets, uh, Raptors, Golden State Lakers semis. Uh, should be interesting finals. Let me see. We got Raptors back in the finals after losing Kawhi versus the Lakers. LeBron James led Lakers. Uh, but the LeBron James led Lakers obviously win. With LeBron being your MVP, we got 22.5 points a game, 4 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 0.3 blocks. You know, LeBron doing his thing in the playoffs, not even the playoffs, in the finals. So let's go ahead and we don't have any drop of lottery. Drop of lottery. Uh, Right? Do we? Do we have anything like special? Uh, no. Let's go ahead and move to the draft. I don't think we have anything. But if anything, I'll just trade it. Honestly. So free agency done. We didn't do anything exciting for say. We just bolstered our bench. But starting lineup is looking the same. We got uh, Shea, Lamelo, R uh, RJ, PJ, Steven Adams, and then we got we signed Isaiah Taylor, 81 overall, Joe Harris, sharpshooter. Uh, small forward, 80 overall, my league month went up to an 80, I spent to a 78, and I pretty much cut it off. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much our team. We got nothing but 80 overalls because basically, after this season, Shetty's gonna be a, a Shetty's gonna be an 80, Fiji's gonna be an 80. We're a better team, I believe. Uh, we did lose, we did lose Willie uh, Hernan Gomez, which is fine. It's fine. I really don't care, honestly. But that's our team, man. That's pretty much our team. We didn't do anything else. We're gonna just sim through the playoffs. I mean, through the regular season. Let's see how we do, man. If we don't make the playoffs again for the third and final season, I'm gonna be so mad, bro, for real. And it's not looking promising either. We're 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 literally 0 and 5, 0 and 6. Okay, we're 1 and 6. So for the third and final season, we got Zion winning MVP. We got uh. The six man uh, rookie of the year just auto generated to be honest. Six man, we got Lamarcus, Giants is defensive player of the year, most improved Kobe White, Brett Brown, yet again, your coach of the year. Uh, but we did not make the playoffs again for the third and final, the third consecutive season. We didn't make the playoffs, bro. I'm pissed. I'm actually pretty upset. Like, look at these boys play, man. Arch leading the way, LaMelo, Steven Adams, Shea. Our six man, bro, we are out here eating, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I do not know. This is this is this was the final roster. Shea, Lamelo, RJ, PJ. Oh my god, 84 overall Shea, 86 overall Lamelo, 84 overall RJ, PJ up to an 81, Steven Adams up to an 88, Isaiah 82, Joe 80, Malik Monk 81, Osman. Everybody, oh my god, we had how I do not know how we did not make the playoffs, but for the, the final final season, let's just let's just see who wins it. Is Zion gonna win the MVP and then lead the, his team to the NBA uh, finals? It's looking like it. We got 4 0 sweep against the Denver Nuggets, and then we have uh, Clippers uh, bounced by Utah Jazz. We got Houston as the one number all overall uh, Western Conference uh, seed. We got Brooklyn and one, and we got Utah in the under end. Utah and Pelicans. Is Zia gonna lead his team to the finals and win the MVP? It's not looking like it. It's not looking like it. He did not. It's gonna be the Utah Jazz and 76ers. 
and the 76ers were about to sweep and they just gentlemen sweep them. Ben Simmons averaging 17 points a game, 1.6 offensive rebounds, <laughs> 10.4 assists. And yeah, that's pretty much what that's pretty much rounds up the third and final season, your 2021 season, the Charlotte Hornets. Bobcats, whatever you, want, whatever you want to call us, we did not make the playoffs, even though we had some good ass teams. Uh, it is how it is, man. It is how it is, and the champions are looking like this. Uh, but yeah, man, that's pretty much that's pretty much rounds it up for us. Everybody has a who's a 99? Anthony Davis is a 99 overall. Oh my goodness. All right, I see y'all. Uh, okay. Damn, Jamal. Okay, this this team right here is good. Anyways, 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 anyways. We are gonna go ahead and just re end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please comment and subscribe. And man, I'm pit. We did not make the playoffs again. Ah, man. But I'll see you. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank y'all.